But you guys got another video. Beware of malware inside the Windows apps on the Microsoft Store. There is tons of apps on here which are really useful, and most of them are pretty safe to use. But there is also a bad element on here that are creating applications that are bundled with way too many adverts and also nasty malware that is embedded in there that it needs certain requirements like permissions to do its nasty stuff on your PC. So be careful when you download and install certain applications from the Microsoft uh, Store. There's also uh, fake applications on here which are mimicking other games to con people into downloading and installing them. There's also apps like these ones which have a small payment that you need to pay to actually use the application. And there's no point in paying for applications when they're completely free to use on Windows or there's free versions available on the internet which you can download and use. So you can see it's only a small fee, but this is how they make their money. Again, read the description of the actual uh, application. Make sure you're looking uh, inside here and looking at the rating. Now be careful because there is uh, malicious uh, programs on here that have fake uh, ratings on them that are given five star ratings and it's done by a group of people that are trying to boost uh, the recognition of their program which could be malicious also go down and look at the system requirements and you can see also additional information here and check the publisher name is the publisher of the program a reputable uh, publisher has he made other applications when was the release date of that application you can check that as well right here and you can also check uh, the installation requirements and also permissions that the program is going to need to run properly on your system. And that's important because obviously the permissions is what the program is asking for to run correctly on your system. And this is where the malicious side of it comes in. So take a look at this one here. This app can use all system resources. It also can access your internet connection. Now, what you need to ask yourself is, why would a program like this need internet access? Uh, because it is just a simple uh, print, print screen uh, program, which is going to basically print a screen on your desktop. So what is it going to be uh, capturing? Is it going to be sending those captured images back? You just don't know with these sort of things. So be very careful. You can also check their privacy policy uh, document, and it should give you all the information uh, that they collect. It will say information collection and use, and it will also tell you the cookies and location information device information and service providers and things like that. It should give you all of the information listed here. You can also check the company and find out what the company is and who they are and things like that. If it doesn't list any of this stuff, then don't be installing programs uh, from that company. Make sure they are a reputable company before you start installing some of these. Games are notorious for uh, having cloned games of other games, and these can have uh, malware embedded them, and they can also have uh, loads of adverts embedded in these as well, which are way too many. And check the uh, feedback. Some of the feedback on these are pretty poor, and that yet people are still installing these on their system. And if you read some of that feedback, it might tell you uh, that what the problem is, why they've given it a one star, and it will tell you whether there's far too many ads or there is uh, other stuff wrong with it. And you have to be careful when you're installing this stuff. So let's take a look at some of the feedback here. And some of these are pretty old reviews here, but just give you an idea of what you should be doing and what practice you should be following before you start clicking on the install button because it's super easy to install stuff. And right down here, there is some information about one person that he said it was just bombarded with adverts when he had the game installed on his system. And that's something that you need to be aware of. Some of these free games are free for a reason because it's making them loads of money through the adverts that they're installing into the game. Now, of course, it goes without saying these applications can have backdoors in them. They can have other types of Trojans and data harvesting uh, technology built into these games. So be very, very careful because they could be harvesting your information. And that's something you don't want. So always read the description and the details of that program and check to see whether it's an legit program or whether they are cloning another game. And this is another problem where they clone other people's legitimate games and it's from an unknown vendor and it could be a third party vendor. But there is tons of games out there which are very good and you can use them, but there is also a lot of third party apps which I would not even install on a system. So you can see right here, this one 
is the application permissions here is to access your internet connection, access your home and work uh, networks, and also access your internet connection and act like a server. So you really don't want to be installing anything like that on your PC, especially if it's acting like a server on your computer. So always make sure you read the permissions before you start clicking install. Because once you click install, it's going to install that payload onto your computer and it's going to start running and acting like a server. It's going to install a service and it's going to be running in the background. And this could be, uh, you know, using up a lot of system resources. This is another problem to look out for. It says when you can buy stuff in the product itself and you can see the price range here is 79 pence to 41 pounds and 74 pence. That's a lot of money for in-game buying for certain things inside the game. And if you've got a young child that's installing these games on his PC and he's got your details on here, he could be clicking on these and buying things and it could end up being a massive bill. So be super careful with what sort of apps and programs, especially all this PC cleaning and optimization stuff that you see inside here as well. Some of them are actually charging money for this stuff and it doesn't look that great. Some of them have got one star and uh, I know people are pretty clued up who watch my channel but some people aren't and they just go and click stuff and install it so you just want to be really really careful i mean this sort of stuff here pc cleaning uh, startup windows faster all these uh, terminology that people are looking for optimize your pc clean your registry all that sort of stuff it's been around for a long time and you don't need to pay for any of this stuff because these sort of applications are absolute garbage and all they are there for is to make money and really, you shouldn't be installing anything like this on your system because it could end up breaking your system. And there's probably no warranty with these particular types of programs either. And you have to be super careful. There's another one here. One star. Look at the quality of that application. It's someone who's just made this in their bedroom and then stuffed it up on the Windows Store. And hopefully someone's going to download it for 99 pence. And he's making a bit of money on the side. And it's going to probably cause damage to your system. Now, of course, there is reputable companies that make this like C Cleaner and Avast and other companies like that. If you want to install these sort of programs on your system, I wouldn't recommend it because they don't really do much. It's just a bit of a con. But again, there is other programs like these ones that this says this your PC doesn't even meet the minimum requirements in memory. And I've got plenty of memory in here, but you can see here this program is poorly coded and it's going to be installed on your system. It wants to probably run as administrator and this one even has a seizure warning on here because it's probably got some sort of flashing going on to try and convince you it's doing something dramatic to the system and really it's just a poorly uh, coded program for 99 cents so be very careful with what you install on your pc windows store has some awesome apps inside there but there's also a lot of junk programs in there malware poorly coded programs and probably programs that are there to make money like advert based programs so be very very careful with what you're actually installing because you could be installing and giving a program rights to run as a server in the background on your system or run as some sort of uh, botnet or whatever it is on your computer it's not the safest place to install applications from and there's not much a uh, control over what people are uploading there there's probably a ton of programs up there that are legit but there's probably thousands and thousands of applications that slip through the net which are dodgy and you shouldn't be installing so be careful with what you're installing from the windows store anyway with that said my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk just want to say a quick shout out to all my youtube members who join my youtube members group i really do appreciate the support i shall catch you in the very next video or i'll see you on the discord server for a chat have a lovely day and i'll catch you in the next one bye for now <music>